That's a mouthful. It's uh, not looking good for him at all. Like, he's not happy. I mean, don't worry. It's, it's going to be well. You know, to be honest, um, I don't want to be in his shoes. Mm. Um, it's, it's, it's a difficult balance. Mm. You know, you have to be careful about what you say about your employers on one side. But then again, you don't want to keep quiet when you don't get what you want because you're going to be the scapegoat if things don't go your way. So it, it, it's a dilemma for him. Um, right now, I don't envy him at all. I, I, I don't. I don't envy him. I don't. But, but I'm just hoping that everything works well. Yeah, and he, one thing I like about him is that he understands the problem. Mm -hmm. And he's saying, if, if I don't problem. get the professionals, these ones that I have, please let me concentrate because these guys are going and coming. You know, I think probably the NFF needs to wait in if you have to. no he says he talked to them there's something they can do because really you know we talked about the fact that look the, cl they, the clubs owns them and if you check if these girls don't play week in week out in their clubs how competitive will they be they won't be sharp that's the thing because you're not on and what will even job. be the criteria for selection if, if nobody sees you play, play. so, so that's it's, it's a dilemma so really. actually also need their, their club also for them to play there i just don't envy him at all because take a look at the four corners the last tournament they got to the finals i mean when when you have that on your head knowing that this was the last performance run up to germany and right now you're going everyone expects you to actually be at your best i mean yeah. the target should be if you can't finish a run up then you have to win it yeah if, if so you cannot... anything below a run up it's going to be deemed as failure but from that, what we've what seen i think we'll just is. take a look just like what we did when our guys were praying for the olympics and just say okay whatever happens we'll just take it like that because we'll be monitoring their preparations and all that and the coach is not happy with what he has on ground presently that's what it is. Um, I'm, That's what it is. <laughs> I, I'm hoping that things turn out well. Like you said, I agree with you. Anything less than getting into the final will be deemed as failure. Mm -hmm. But of course, true. you're already giving the coach an excuse is already in the bag. <laughs> so I hope that the NFF and the coach will sit down, sort things out, and hopefully we'll be able to have a workable plan to ensure that we don't just go to that tournament to make up numbers, that we go there and do well, you know, and do well, and you know, throw up players that will you know, being the Falcons. Okay, Falcons are not the only ones in action in you know, November. Of course, you also have the Super Falcons, the bigger girls. They will be in action from 19th of November in Cameroon to defend the title they won two years ago. Well, about 30 players have been invited. Eight of them are foreign-based professionals. Most of the players, 22, are from home. So this is a huge one for Florence or Mangbemi, because when you have just eight players to join, okay, they can come in any time they feel like there will be no deadline for these ones, but you have to start working with 22 players. From well, what we heard from the media officer this morning is that some of the girls are already in camp, they yeah. started training, and which is really a good one. So once the coach come and the foreign base players come, they know that, yes, they, they have something. And if you look at the players invited, I mean, these are players who already we know, synonymous with the Super Falcons, Rivers and just as usual, you know, then we used to call it the national team. Yeah. You know, when uh, Edwin O'Conn was there. So they still have most of the players also making up this 30 uh, man list that was released by the Nigerian Football Federation, also by the coach uh, Florence Oman. But we have a uh, Ibule Bele White, uh, Osina Chiogale, Gladys Akba, Ugo Ujoko, Chioman Wogo, of course, Gloria Iroka. These are some of the girls from the Rivers Angels. Sunshine Queens also have uh, yeah. most of the girls. They have Gladys Abasi, uh, Sharifat Sahid, Yetunde Aluku, and of course, Ijoma Obi, some of the girls from Sunshine. Then also you have a uh, Bayerse United, Osaya Noma Igbinovi, of course, she's a regular there. Alaba Jonathan, the you have a uh, Rita uh, Akareko, and you have uh, Alice. Godo from Delta Queens. Confluence Queens, you also have two players from there. Sheon Bello, uh, Maureen Solia. Of course, you have the Adamawa Queens. You have uh, Inena Julius and Chioma Wanko. So, also Ibom Angels, Ine Queens, Pelican Stars, Nasara Mizons have the likes of Inena AK. You have a Blessing Adoho, Pelican Stars, Anam Imo, and uh, Ikema Koru yeah. Wendu. And of course, the overseas best players, Rita uh, Chikelu from uh, Sweden, uh, Ngozi Kobe, also the Faith Ikide plays in Sweden, also Ngozi Iberi, PSG ladies in France, and Evelyn Wamboko, the captain uh, from Kazakhstan, and Desire Akbar uh she plays uh, right there in France, and of course you have a Francisca Odega, Washington Spring in the USA, and of course Asisa Toshola, the Arsenal lady, so she's leading the pack there. Yeah, so um, that's it, we're just hoping that uh, everything will go well. No, knowing that this is all we have. Uh, Cecilia, let's travel abroad.
yeah definitely we'll see the way it's gonna pounce out in this one but just taking a look at the list i mean are there some girls you feel they should be there no uh, uh, uh i think the list is okay i think it is okay um i just hope we'll be able to take our game to the next level okay that's all hoping Ah, oh, you mentioned traveling abroad, right? Okay, <laughs> something actually happened, right? Uh, when Rooney, I mean, Gareth Southgate dropped him as captain. He says he didn't really perform so well the way he did, you know, against the game they played against Malta at home. And so Rooney, well, he said he's accepted the decision of the coaches. We're expecting it. And, of course, the coach is also saying, okay, he has picked uh, Anderson, talking about uh, the guy who replaced Steven Gerrard, you know, at Liverpool. Listen to them. I understand and respect the manager's decision and I'll support the players um, 100% in, and try and help the players um, get three points tomorrow. So I'll be ready, of course, to come on from the bench if, if needed and, um, you know, hopefully we can get three points. And again, um, I show great pride in playing for my country. Um, whether that's from the start, whether that's from, from the bench with a, a squad of players, which I'm pleased to be involved with. And of course, you want to be on the pitch. I think that goes without saying, but my role um, as captain, you know, won't change off the pitch around the hotel with the players. That's, that, that remains the same. And um, yeah, I'll be supporting the players 100%, which I've done over the last couple of days and um, hoping that we can get the win. What stood out for me is. Uh, captain the football club where he had to take over from one of the most iconic figures in English football and um, that would have been a difficult challenge for him. Um, I think he's matured from that and uh, he's um, shown great leadership skills with his club. He's used to being the captain which is also important I think um, and within this group of players he's, he's got a, a voice and an opinion, um, very clear ideas on, on, on what he thinks we need to work on and uh, good tactical understanding so um, again not an easy decision because there are other senior players in that dressing room um, but I, I think because he's a uh, captain in a big football club and he's used to that responsibility um, it's a, a, the right decision for me you're talking about two different profiles of player um, different attributes different skills and that's entirely the basis of the decision you know we're away from home um, a different tactical challenge we, we expect from the opposition so, um, as the coach, you've got to look at what's the right um, setup for that particular game.